Pirate games are one of those rare genres where it's hard to find a fantastic experience to sink your hours of wanting to talk like a pirate into. We of course have AAA Sea of Thieves, which is currently the main pirate game on the scene, AAA Skull and Bones, which is currently in development, the older Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and very small titles such as King of the Seas and Blazing Sails. However, there's then of course the widely acknowledged Port Royale games from Calypso Media, and now Tortuga A Pirate's Tale, the latest pirate game from Calypso, which is exactly what we're going to be taking a look at today, and seeing if you should splash out your gold coins on the latest open world pirate experience. Huge thank you to Calypso for providing a key to the game, and also a key to run a giveaway for the game, more information at the end of the video about that, so definitely stick around. Tortuga A Pirate's Tale is an open world pirate simulator game which tells the story of you, a pirate captain with a lust for golden glory, who assumes command of a fleet of pirate ships to strike the Caribbean. There are four main regions of the map under control by different countries, England, the Netherlands, France and the Spanish, each having many ports and towns under their control. You'll be able to sink over 25 hours into this piratical world as you build your fleet, maintain your crew, and delve into the stories of Tortuga A Pirate's Tale. When you first start the game, you can immediately name your pirate, flagship, and customize your flag, choose your starting location, and difficulty. There's a lot you can customize about your playthrough here, which is always what I love to see in games. If you're to progress in this dog-eat-dog -dog world though, you'll need to build a formidable armada of ships to sink the various fleets of controlling countries. And there's only one way to do this, and that's by facing your foes. Tortuga A Pirate's Tale is a turn-based strategy game at its core, and so that's exactly how combat functions. Whilst it can get a little bit repetitive at first, when you start to upgrade your pirate and fellow captains of your fleet's various skills and weapons, things can get very interesting. You'll have to use your wits, as victory is determined by a clever combination of your ship's distinct armaments, with varying and rough conditions of the sea. Depending on how you choose to strike your enemies will end in various outcomes. Perhaps you'll scupper the enemy until there's nothing left of them, or you'll choose to board them and take over their ship, adding the vessel to your mighty collection. Don't forget to hire a captain though, ships don't operate by themselves. Sometimes when you're sailing the open ocean, it's easy to forget your duties to your crew. Remember, whispers of mutiny below the decks can lead to nasty outcome. After all, you're an elected captain and not placed by the grace of the Lord. You'll have to make sure morale stays high by dividing loot, and also agree on so-called articles of capture that clearly define objectives you embark on before leaving the port. Keeping your fellow captains of your fleet happy should also be a priority by accepting captain's requests as articles of capture. There are many other not so costly ways to increase crew morale, such as buying the rounds at the local tavern, but you'd be wise to remember that if you start dividing all of the loot, the crew will expect the same every time, so I wouldn't be so generous after all. Just make sure they don't completely hate your guts. As you progress to become the most fearsome pirate on the seas, you'll have to upgrade your ship if you want to achieve greatness, cosmetically and for combat. It is your job to maintain and upkeep a formidable fleet before facing the cannon hail of those mighty warships lurking in the seas. Combining distinct upgrades of your ship's basic gear such as weaponry, hull, mast or figurehead allows for more than 360 unique loadouts. That is a ton. Additionally, you can upgrade your pirate skills with over 35 distinct abilities as you climb to claim your piratical throne, each being upgradable. The world is your oyster in Tortuga A Pirate's Tale. Governors and fellow pirate companions provide you with valuable quest lines where a few doubloons can be made, and don't forget to seek out the local tavern and eavesdrop on the latest rumours. A bottle of rum loosens the tongue, showing the way to treasures otherwise hidden with the promise of lucrative reward and adventure. On your journey to become the most fierce and most glorious pirate captain, you will have the opportunity to get to know several historic pirates, though it do you good to choose your foes and companions wisely. It is important to note that Tortuga Pirate's Tale is a single player campaign game, so you can't share the world with your friends. However, the game does boast 18 unique types of ship, such as the ship of the line, frigate, 
War Galleon, and many more. So at least your fellow pirate friends will be with you in spirit. Another thing I do love about Tortuga A Pirate's Tale is how its save system works. Whilst you can make saves at any time, you can also access the auto saves of the game. This means if a fight doesn't quite end in your favour, there's always the option to rewind and try again. While Sortuga A Pirate's Tale is a great game, there are some drawbacks though. Of course, the single player element is a pitfall, but there's also various game breaking issues that I did encounter. That being said, most of them were nothing that a quick restart didn't fix or couldn't be worked around. Due to the open world nature, you can always come back later, and the game is very new, so I'm sure patches are already being worked on. The art style, world, and the fact that a noticeable chunk of the game is dealt with in UI is something that many people may have an issue with. And whilst the game is technically classed as AAA and so should be held to a standard of that, it's certainly on the much smaller side of it and so I'm personally not judging it to a high of a standard as say Sea of Thieves, because for what it is, you get great bang for your buck and it's a really great pirate simulator. I would definitely recommend checking it out, especially if you're looking for a break from your current main game. Overall, Tortuga A Pirate's Tale is a very fun experience and is a great excuse to hoist the pirate flag once more and chart new territory into the Caribbean as you become the most formidable pirate in all the land. Tortuga A Pirate's Tale is out now on PC, PlayStation and Xbox for around $25 to $30, platform dependent, with a 10% launch discount for everyone. Additionally, Calypso Media have given me a key to give away. All you need to do to enter is comment down below what your favourite pirate game of all time is, and your Twitter username so I can contact you if you win. But that does just about wrap up this video, so let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. What do you think of Tortuga A Pirate's Tale from this video, and have you tried it out yet? Thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy then please do consider leaving a like, it really helps out the channel an absolute ton, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the way to see of Thieves news as and when it comes out, my Reddit, why not hit the bell as well so you never miss a single upload, but anyways apart from all that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.